Today we are going to work on uh, Audi Alternator 48 volt. Um, we already replaced the IGBT over here. The other two are original from the car and they are working okay. The next step is to work on this side, on the control module. As this IGBT got broken is because uh, some parts over here short-circuited and broke the IGBT to have too much heat to the point that it broke itself. So this unit specifically we already made some repair we just want to check if it works fine so how to do it first of all take this chip in the center as a reference this is the rotor sensor it checks what's the position of the of the rotor when it's moving and this chip can get broken if it gets broken you have to replace it on this side we have one phase on this side we have another phase on this side we have another phase those three phases are all the same which means if we want to check if one component in any of these areas is faulty, all we have to do is to compare the same component over here with the components over here and over here. Of course, because here we have only one broken IGBT, so we know this phase where the broken IGBT was should be the one which is faulty, and those two phases should be the good ones. So most likely, when we check the values of this one, of this component, versus this component and this component, this one, if faulty, will be different from both of them, which must be the same. If they are all the same, that means they are all good. If each of them is all different, then there must be some problem. If this is different from those two, then this is faulty. So using this logic, we can test most of the components. Uh, the ones which get broken most often are four resistors and several triodes. For the resistors, it's quite easy. Just set the multimeter to resistor, 600 ohm or even lower, and start to check those resistances over here. So here we have 43.6 ohm and based on the colors of these resistors this is exactly a 43.6 ohm resistor so this resistor is okay let's check another phase same resistor in another phase is 43.0 not too much difference it should be okay same check on another on the third phase 43.0 okay Let's get to the, this other resistor. This resistor is 4.5. Okay, let's check over here, same resistor. And we have 4.5 as well. Same check over here. And here we go, 4.5. Other resistors that you want to check are those two. Also here, one couple. One is 4.5 and another is around uh, uh, 46 see this one is 33 and this one is 2.2 let's compare it with the ones in the other phases Two point two. Thirty-three. Two point two. Okay, they are all the same, so that must be okay. Next areas which we want to check using the diode mode. Sorry, before this, let's check continuity. Those three should have continuity like this and between each other. Those three are always parallel, so they must always have continuity. If they don't, that must be meaning they are broken. And they are connected to these triodes over here. So if any of those triodes is broken, they will be broken as well, usually. So let's test the triodes. Okay, we have 0 0.76. And here, we have 0 0.70. Let's try the same triode, but on another phase. We have 1.7 here. Okay, 0 0.7 over here. And 1.7 over here. So there must be something wrong. Okay, 0 0.7. So we have 0 0.7 here. So 
so the values are not matching. And after all, this is the faulty one. So we check if this one and this one match now. Seven point sixty four. Okay, it's more or less the same. Seven point zero. Zero point seventy. Okay, so those two are matching. This one is different. Then we do the same job on the trials next. 0.74 and 1.4. Notice some of the triodes will not make noise when you test them. That doesn't mean they're broken. You just need to compare the values to know if they are broken or not. Don't uh, just check the sound or uh, use some simpler way. Just check the values accurately so you can know for sure. Other triodes which may be at fault are over here, over here, over here. This component is also a gateway, which is also can get faulty often. This is exactly the same component like here, so the same problems. This one over here also can get faulty often. But keep in mind that those which get often faulty are the first ones to check, not the only ones to check. If those, even they are after they're replaced, they still have problems. Maybe your problem is somewhere else in the circuit, you need to follow the tracks to find out. The last point is the processor. This processor usually doesn't have any problems inside, but if you have some internal errors or some problem that may be related with software, you may want to read the content. This is an SPC 5644 series. You can read it with VDA Prog, read the files, and you can send it over to us for us to check if the file is okay or not. But most of the time, this is not the problem. The problem are over here on the trials.